Hey guys, good morning. Um, I'm not having a good morning um, today. I woke up, I guess, so I woke up when Adrian was leaving, but I wasn't really like awake and fell asleep again. It's like 12, 15 or something. I woke up, I don't know, probably like 45 minutes ago or something like that. And um, I just had such an incredibly disturbing dream, like to the point of not even wanting to talk about it. Um, so I woke up very afraid and like anxious and I um, started panicking and I cried for a little while because of how like messed up the dream is. I've been having a lot of like disturbing dreams have been around for a long time with me. Um, I've gotten used to a lot of them. Um, like I have dreams that I'm running from people and just, you know, like a lot of like scary stuff happening, but I've, I've gotten really used to it. Um, so it doesn't really bother me that much, but recently it's been really bad. And the one I had last night was just awful. And I like broke down crying like a little while ago and it's, it's just really bad. Um, I was on medication actually at one time to control the dreams and it did, and it was amazing, but I left the practice of the, the people I was seeing to, that were prescribing it, so I had to stop taking it. Um, but last night was just really bad. It was just really, really bad. And it was hard waking up too, so it was just like, I don't even know. I'm just trying to get all my stuff in my like suitcase so that, um, cause my mom's getting me so that I can bring it back home. Um, and I'm taking an online summer class and it's due tonight at midnight and I have to do it. So, I will talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so I'm home. It's 5 p.m. and um, my mom got me like four hours ago. We went over to the mall um, because she needed um, some stuff from Lush. She uses their cleanser called um, Ultra Bland and it was actually made for by one of the founders to another founder um, for somebody, the other fan to ha founder had rosacea, which is this, like, um, illness, uh, that affects the skin. It basically causes, like, the pores in your face to be really, really, really enlarged, and, um, it causes, like, extreme redness. So my mom has had rosacea for, like, forever, um, and it turned out that this Ultra Bland was, like, great for her, and, um, like, it's, even, like, next to medicated, like, prescribed medicated stuff, like, this has been better, um, which is great. So she's been using it for two years. She wants to try to use, um, a cleanser that's a little thinner, so we got her a new one, and we got her the face, um, the face lotion that she's been using. It's called Celestial, I think. So we went and we picked those up. I got a bath bomb, of course. Um, and then we went and saw my psychiatrist, and I've just been very, um, seeing him the past couple times have been really not too great. He is, like, focusing on the wrong stuff, and, like, not being helpful. Like, I went in with two things I really wanted to speak to him about, and, um, he's pretty much dismissed it completely and he's dismissed the problems that me and my mom have come in with the other the you know the past other two times not not this time the time before and the time before that um i was alone with the doctor today but because of some things that were going on the past two appointments my mom was with me and even though she was with me um like he still blew off what our concerns were and I don't want to, like, I don't want to give up on a doctor, but I don't know what to do. Um, I came in today with concerns about, um, I have, like, very, very, very kind of, like, disturbing um, dreams pretty much every night, um, but I've gotten so used to them because this has been going on for, like, 10 to 15 years. It's been going on for, like, pretty much as long as I can remember. 
um, like three years ago I was on a medication for it and it, it worked really really well um, so I got it prescribed today but at a really low dose um, but that was also after he was saying that like dreams you know aren't, aren't real so you know there's no reason to be I don't, I don't even know um, so we ended up having to go and I, I'll do a video on this sometime when I feel comfortable doing it but I I don't consider um, myself having it, a PTSD now but I had in the past um, and I was on it when I was going through the really bad period of PTSD and um, I, I didn't you know, all this stuff is behind me and I didn't really want to talk about it. Um, and he's just focusing on all this medical stuff and I just want to take a break from dealing with all of that. So it was a bit frustrating. Um, I came back really upset, but I have to do, it's 5.08 and I need to um, actually do my schoolwork for the class I'm taking. So, I gotta do that now because it's due soon. So, I just wanted to like update you guys. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna try to edit out my other vlogs and try to get those up. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys what was up. And um, I'll see you guys in a bit. And hopefully, I will have come back with very good grades and I can tell you guys all about it. <laughs> Yay, got a hundred. Gotta see what else I have to do. And I got another hundred. Um, I'm just gonna fix my hair since I haven't at all today, um, since I have time. Um, so I thought that I wouldn't need a textbook for this class, but now it says I do, but the thing is, like, $75 and knowing the course material um or the way that the the professor is putting it online um oh it's downstairs damn it um it kind of seems like i don't need it but then i'm also afraid um of being put in a position where i can't do something without it but i don't want to buy it for a four-week class you know um I know there was two tests I had to do, then there's short essays, and then I'm gonna have to go downstairs for my hair. Um, there's like st st short essays and a discussion board post, all done unit one. So there's the discussion board, unit one, um, essay questions, chapter one exam, chapter two exam. So I did chapter one exam and chapter two. So then I would need to do the essay questions and the discussion board. And I'm afraid that it's gonna be like, it's randomly gonna need to be based off the textbook. But like, I was able to do the exam without, without needing the textbook. So I just, I'm afraid to put myself in a bad position, but I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna just fix up my hair and then essay questions I don't know look at the discussion board and then the essay questions I don't know what to do update I am still working on the work it's 10 um, I'm like almost ish done with a 250 word um, like short answer thing I have to do two others and I finished two discussion board posts and I have to comment two more and I did two tests so I've gotten a lot done. Basically what's holding me back right now is these essay questions. Um, they're not even essays, but they're just... It's just kind of hard to... to work with. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's the type of thing that you could answer in just a few sentences, but it needs to be stretched out so it's just like annoying um 
it's not bad, I guess it's just annoying. I have less than two hours to do another two. Rosie, did you miss me? Do you want to spend time with me? No? Uh, just stay. Just for a few minutes. Come on, please. Please, Rosie. Just a few minutes. Why not? Why? Rosie, you're being difficult. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll let you out. Rude. I am honestly so incredibly disappointed with myself. I never, um, not at least since I started going back to school, um, like, which I have to talk to you guys, I have to explain my, like, three years in college, um, because I have not talked to you guys about any of it, and it's really, 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 um, very different than what, how I am now, and it's kind of like, made me really kind of like who I am now and um not they were not good experiences um so previous to previous to starting at like this school and just um really taking care of my grades and doing really well I would have maybe done something like this but um I waited like literally installed and waited until the last minute to get everything in and I mean <clears throat> since going to this school like I've really tried to like do the absolute best job that I can um, like to do well in this class and um, I don't know I'm just disappointed that I set myself up but you know this is like a four week class and I set myself up with like doing really really well on parts of this but then like totally slacking and not doing well in other parts and I'm just afraid that like you know this is the first week and like I have all A's at that school and I don't want to go you know I'm at like a 3.8 and I don't want to drop that because I decided to procrastinate so badly um, so I'm hoping that the way everything kind of gets graded out that this isn't going to really affect me um, but I'm just disappointed in myself because like responsible Liz has never done this like since I left my other schools so I'm, I'm disappointed in myself but um it's 12 15 I still haven't hooked up to my infusion um I'm just editing one of the vlogs and I'm just gonna try to get all the vlogs edited um this is my fun computer stuff that I do after spending like six hours doing this homework yay <laughs> I don't know. I'm just really disappointed in myself. Just wanted to let you guys know that. On top of that, I'm disappointed also. My 12-hour infusion. I haven't started yet, and I usually try to hook up between like 9 and 11 because I need to I'd be coming off of it at 9 to 11 in the morning. It's 12.37, and I'm not hooked up. And thank you guys for, you know, like past like month has just been weird with vlogging so thank you for your patience um especially like everything with my grandma passing away and all that fun stuff um thank you for your support everybody and um yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you guys for watching